Yo, what's popping YouTube? Holla at your boy here. So I've been using the Oppo Find N for the past three weeks now, and I must say, I am really loving this phone so far and using it as my daily. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, what do I think about this device? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know Oppo Find N after using it for about three weeks now. So, without any further ado, let's go. Using the Oppo Find N as my daily driver has been nothing short of fantastic. This is the eight gigabit, 256 gigs, plus RAM expansion up to five gigs. And this is also packing the Snapdragon 888 SoC. This is my first foldable, so you guys already know what I did as soon as I got this thing up out that box. I got the fold in it. I couldn't wait to see what's all the hype was about foldable devices. And to see technology come this far, dope. Now, I wasn't a big fan of foldables when they first came out on the scene, but after using this device for a couple of weeks, I have to retract that statement. The Oppo Find N is built amazing. Now, it got some heft to it. I wasn't expecting that, but I quickly adjusted. The outer display is a 5.5 inch screen, perfect for one hand usage. You can still get things done on the outer display as you can on the inner display. And with the two by one aspect ratio, that makes this a accessible device to use one handed. Now this is nice and bright. It's almost 1080p, but you get way more usage out of this display than you would on something like a Z Fold. Now, once you open this phone up, you are greeted with 7.1 inch LTPO, 120 Hertz. So this is all screen. This is dope just to see folding technology like this. The ultra thin glass, which makes the crease kind of non-existent. Yeah, you can still see it if you're looking at angles, but for the most part, the crease is non-existent. If you rub on it, Pause. You can feel the crease or whatever, but as far as seeing the crease, it's nothing like the creases on the Samsung devices. Now the hinge is top notch, really high quality, durable. You got design for a find, which is such a classy look. You can adjust this just about every angle all the way up to 120 degrees. You can also prop this on the table and kind of use it like a tripod. So if you want to get your selfies or group photos, it also works when it comes to video. Now I do like how if you're viewing something on the outside and you just want to make it a little bigger, you can open it up. The app picks up where it left off on the outside. That is pretty dope. Also vice versa, say you are looking at something on the inside and you want to continue it on the outside all you have to do is swipe up and there you go right there so i thought that was pretty dope now the fingerprint scanner on the side that is not my ideal placement but that's only because i am left-handed so trying to do the reach around to get to the fingerprint scanner i just use face unlock but nonetheless, the fingerprint scanner works and it works pretty good. Now the software is nice. It's running color OS on top of Android 13. So you're getting all of the goodies that comes along with Android 13 as far as material you use, toggle the camera and the mic on or off. Just to name a few things that you got with Android 13. Don't worry, this phone should get Android 14. So when that's released later this year, this phone should receive that update. Them House of Black cameras, very good. Triple setup here, 50 megapixel main, 13 megapixel telephoto, and you got a 16 megapixel ultra wide. So the photos on this come out nice, crisp, ready for social media posting. Video is pretty good as well. It's nice and stable. And for you more experienced people out there, this phone has pro mode. So you guys can go ahead and take full advantage of that. One cool thing is you can use the outer display as your viewfinder as you can take pictures with the best camera that's on the phone, the rear facing cameras. So you're going to get a more rich, pleasing photo from the best cameras on the phone. Now this phone comes equipped with a 4,500 milliamp battery. It splits into two cells. So that gives it really quick, fast charging. This phone lasted me all day. One thing to note that this phone isn't IPX8 certified. So I advise you guys not to be going out and around 
rain. If you drop that phone in water, I don't know if it's going to survive that. Also, this phone is only in China. So that means you're going to get a lot of Chinese apps. And there are a lot of things that you cannot uninstall. Now, you can uninstall some of the apps. But you can't install all of the apps and you cannot hide any of these apps so for the ones that you can't get rid of they're just gonna be sitting chilling so that's a couple downfalls about this device so foldables are on the rise and they are coming quick y'all i mean this is incredible how technology is moving this quickly we got a lot of companies that are coming out with their own versions of their foldables and me i am here for all of it so you guys let me know what you think of the Oppo Find N. So shout out to the homie Gadget Goddess for sending me out this device to get my first taste of the foldables. If you guys like this video, won't you go ahead and do your boy a favor? Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you have not, and turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time I release new content. So if you guys want to see more videos on the channel, I make sure I leave a couple of them on the screen right here. And as always, stay safe and I will holler at y'all in the next video. Later.